So here is our summary of the last 100 days in 100 seconds. Ready? Start the clock. We've made education free up to grade 12. Approved funding for employing 30,000 new teachers. Funded the building of 120 new schools. Increased the community development fund from 1.6 million to 25.7 million. Removed income tax in the first 4,500 kwacha that you earn. Increased the health budget over 4 billion kwacha. Employing over 11,200 new health workers. Sanitary pads to Zambian girls and women who cannot afford them will be free. Remove the borehole tax for personal use. Appointed a diverse cabinet covering all the 10 provinces. The university budget has been increased by over 1 billion kwacha. Allocated 2.1 billion kwacha to pay our pensioners. We have freed the media. Brought in over 1 million safe COVID vaccines, tests and PPE. Introduced a new transparency and accountability in our financial dealings, reporting fully on the national debt. Cut back on unnecessary spending like new cars for government officials and big delegations for the foreign trips. Created the Ministry of Small and Medium Enterprises. Created the Ministry of Green Economy and Environment. Restored Zambia's good name representing our country at the UN and in the UK. Restored the right to protest and organize politically without interference from the police. Removed political interference in our judiciary. Removed the cadres from the markets and clamped down the card of violence. Restored the rule of law and removed the police roadblocks. Put in place social cash transfer of 3.1 billion kwacha to support over 1 million vulnerable households. Oh, apparently my 100 seconds is up. Your time is just beginning as my fellow Zambians. Fellow Zambians, in 100 days we have done a lot. All of us in government are aware that there's so much to do to demonstrate the real change you elected us to deliver. The president has directed all of us to redouble our efforts in the next 100 days so that we start to see the practical change in our community. So enough of the talk, let's get back to work.